da 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 Half 11, Wednesday the 1st of, of uh, April. It's not an April Fool's, it is actually me attempting to cook while we're under lockdown with whatever I could find in my cupboard. Uh, nice little chicken curry recipe. Really simple, really tasty. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, sorry, I'm um, grating garlic on one of these great plates, which clues with the top, they are absolutely brilliant. Um, should definitely invest in one. They do the ginger and they leave all the stemmy, all the stemmy nonsense and the fibrous bits of the skin out of there. That can go away into the food bin. If I keep jumping off to the right or left from your side, um, it's because the sink's there, I need to wash my hands. So, um, I'll wait for a few people to join in, say hello, ask a question. David, thank you so much for joining me. I uh, hope you're well, Pav. Um, I'm in awe of your macros. I'll let people that know know, if they don't, well they can ask. Um, and fair play to you mate, I don't know if I could drink that much Monster in a week, but other than that, I think you're tip top pal. Thank you for tuning in, even if it's just to like say hello and then bugger off, I don't mind. Um, we're all locked in. Hey Shep, how you doing pal? Luanne from the uh, Australia, some familiar faces. I'm just gonna give it five, five seconds, two minutes, and then we're gonna get down to business because at the moment there's only four of you and I need about, I don't know, 15, 20. Anton, my man from South Africa. Pav is total prep goals, you're right. Hello everybody, thank you for joining. Thank you to the JSA lot. I know they're used to my ugly mug for about a year now, um, which is, and their support and being lovely has given me the confidence to come and do it in the real wide world, but still in a small group on Facebook. So we'll get there one day. Maybe you see me on the telly, if you haven't. Straight from James's live to yours. Oh my days, am I following James? Sorry, Jim, uh, Smithy, apologies. Um, so, um, for those that are listening, watching, cooking, anyone cooking along, first of all, just give me a thumbs up if you're cooking along. I don't expect you are, this is all very uh, late notice and, and, and all the rest of it, but are we gonna do some chicken? I marinated this yesterday. If you go in the group and scroll down, you'll see the marinade for this. It's got black peppercorns, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, crushed up in a mortar and pestle after being roasted in a pan or toasted in a pan, however you wanna put it. Um, some turmeric, some oil, and some lemon juice. Okay, and that's been in the fridge overnight. We're gonna seal that off in the pan behind me. Then we're gonna add the onions, garlic, and ginger. We're gonna sort of saute that off on a low heat, nice and steady. Uh, then we're gonna add coconut milk and watch that reduce down, cook the rice, warm up the non in the microwave. Bosh, done. Who else we got in there? Bon, always a pleasure. Adam, there's a blast from the past. Hello, darling. I hope you're well. Um, still limousining? I think that's the last thing I saw from your Facebook. Obviously no one calls anyone anymore, they just look on social media. Fiona, welcome, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, Cookie's just come into my Instagram saying he's gonna be here, so Norris. Right, if you haven't hit like it, like already, if you haven't <laughs> share this, like it, love it, laugh at it, put a thumbs down, I don't mind, it's all interaction. Gillian, hi lovely, how you doing? Currently on lunch. Anton, well, maybe we can give you some curry for lunch. I want to do this, but don't have half the ingredients. I do apologize. I literally just went through my cupboard and dished it all out. Right, let's get started. Thank you ever so much again. I'll keep saying that because I'm very, very, well, honored. Jem, I didn't miss you. How you doing, my love? Right, um, my cousin, Norris, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I pushed that meeting back for you. Right, first things first. Let's get some heat under these bad boys. This is gonna be for our rice, very simple. And this is gonna be for our chicken and onion, garlic, ginger, coconut milk. So, rice, the rules of rice. Nice touch, right? Two to one, or one to two. So, a cup of rice is two cups of boiling water. Let's get that on first, okay? Watch me spill this all over the top. Oh! All right, that's that one done. Two sets, guys. Let's kill the heat on that one for a minute. So, we are gonna cook the rice, put that on he says. And then we're gonna do the chicken, seal the chicken, get a nice little char on it, nice little bit of color, and then drop that temperature to cook the onions, the garlic, and the ginger, and then add the coconut milk, and that's it. Warm up some naan bread in the microwave. Robert's your father's brother. Right, there we are. Oh, see that cup of rice, not hard. What you can do with that, stick it in your pan. Right, chicken cover off for a second. Stick it in your pan. And what I would do at this stage is add things like turmeric, 
uh, cardamom seeds, salt, pepper, pink peppercorns, a drizzle of oil, um, just so it doesn't stick. Um, all these things you can use um, just to add flavour to boring old uh, white rice, you know what I mean? It's just not family still building limousines, man. Oh, you're still banking, beautiful. Ben, hello, mate. I hope you're well. I hope you're all well. I hope this, uh, this lockdown isn't well, it'll be driving you crazy. So, rice, a little bit of oil, a little whisk, just to get all those grains of rice covered in a little bit of oil. A bit of salt, I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. But like I said, you can put cardamom seeds in there, you can put Chinese five spice, you can put turmeric, you can put whatever you're chuffing well like with your rice. Okay, so that's one cup of rice. Pop that on the heat, not massively hot. Boil your kettle and then we get our one to two ratio, okay? I'll kill that halfway through. Boz, lovely to see you watching, mate. How you doing, mate? Lovely to chat with you earlier. Hannah Rose Clark. Wow, look at you guys. You guys, oh, mate. So, so touched that I've got more than four people watching this. Okay, I will talk a lot because I've got to keep it interesting for you. Otherwise, you'll just see my ball spot on my back while I cook. And that ain't, that ain't good TV, is it? Um, right, so come at me with any questions. How are you getting on with the lockdown? If you haven't hit like, hit like already. Share it away. If you enjoy it at the end, that'd be wonderful. So we've got a little bit of heat underneath my rice, just to give it a little wake up. Oil, salt and pepper, ready seasoned. Now, there will be people who say, oh, I don't do it like that. That's fine, I don't mind, this is how I'm doing it. I'm, I'm eating it at the end of the day. And then you want two cups of boiling water out the kettle. So the one cup of rice, I'll just keep that there for posterity, you know what I mean? Give it a stir. Pop the lid on, let it go. I'll turn that off after about 10 minutes and let it just chill for a bit. Okay, rice is on, bang. Let's get on with the, uh, the main event, the chicken. And now, ideally I'd have coconut oil or coconut butter, but I don't. So I'm just going for some good old regular unsalted. Who we got? Oh, thanks Hannah, that's lovely to read. Anton, nice cut, of course it is mate. Fellow Gloucester fan all the way from South Africa. The Golden Lions fan came over with some of the Gloucester uh, South African players and we managed to, um, I was part of the committee that brought him to King's home for the West Country Derby. So yeah, very proud of that and he had a great time. Jean, hello darling, how are you? Pire uh, Perez, Perez, I, I can't remember, but, but you are a firm follower and I really love to see for it. JKL, Gary Haddock, some familiar faces from the JSA and if you're not part of it, you're doing yourself an injustice. James does a wonderful thing. I know Joe Wicks is peeing every morning, and he is smashing it, and he's a lot of people's cup of tea, but I like potty mouth. If anyone knows me, you'll know I don't hold back on the swearing too much when I'm in close company and people are uncomfortable around. I won't do it on here in case kids are watching. And I hope they are, and I hope they learn something. Um, right, if you saw at the beginning, I've just grated some garlic on there. Just went from a butter to melt, and then we're gonna seal off this chicken. Rice is boiling away nicely. And yeah, if you want to know how this marinade goes, there's a video before this. Go in the group, have a little look around, like stuff, hit learn more, you'll go to my website. Basically, if it's got anything to do with events or cooking or hospitality, I'm your man, okay? I'll give myself one big up, maybe another one before the end of it. So I scored this and seasoned it. Now, we don't want that on turbo nutter job because the seasoning on there, the peppercorns and the cumin seasoning, the corrector, will burn and it will, it'll be horrible. So, once the butter's melted, get it down to a medium, put your chicken in the pan, I'll bring this over to the camera in a minute. I'm not that high tech that I've got more than one camera. This ain't Saturday morning kitchen enough. I've got about, I've got my phone and my, and my chat. Just gonna wash my hands, because that turmeric does stain. So, give it a bit more pepper. So that is what we're looking for, yeah? Just on the heat, let's get that seasoned down. Rice is bubbling away nicely. Just come back to that every time you feel like it. You know what you can put in rice? Dry chilli flakes. Oh, and in fact, if you go on online and Google, let's get rid of that for now. Uh, if you Google uh, rice recipes, there's a bundle. You can put chicken livers through, it's amazing. Scarlet, good day, mate. Who else we got? Gary Haddock in the his house. Ash Hearts, how you doing, lovely? Um, we will get together for a beer soon, don't you worry. Adri, how can I improve tuna and pasta all over at home at the moment? Right, ha. I lived off tuna pasta base at university. There's a lot you can do with them. But for me, 
Hang on. A lot of lemon juice and a lot of pepper goes a long way. Think about a cucumber, uh, dicing up a cucumber to go through it, opening a tin of sweet, sweet corn, uh, rinsing it off in the sink, and then adding that to your tuna. Uh, red onion goes well with tuna if you're not talking to anyone for the next three hours afterwards. Um, so yeah, add that to there. Right, chicken's browning off nicely, as you can see. After that, I'm gonna take it to one side and introduce the onions. So we're gonna find uh, finally slice our onions, which is also known as julienne. Um, pretty basic cut. Um, then I think, I'm not sure, ask Will Dugfield if he, if he found it, but there might be a tutorial on how to chop onions and, and knife skills um, on the group. So if you go to Cook and Coops, the group which you are in, and look at the videos, you're laughing, yeah? Right, who else we got in? Charlotte, hello, nice mug, innit? My face, or this bad boy? Can't, can't let the boys down, they must be doing their nutting with 25% pay, pay cut and not being able to play the sport they love. And I know us as Gloucester fans and rugby fans in general, I'll slow down a minute, are definitely, definitely missing sport. Or in fact, any sport you watch or you're a fan of, I know you're missing it. I know you're missing it. Um, so, who else we got? How does that help with the tuna? You're very welcome, Adri. Travis, another name for the past. Guys, all my old friends and some new friends. Giles, tuna pasta is the bomb, and yes, onions are a must, and pepper till it's black. I made your lasagna. I haven't put the video up. Tell me, did I put the video up? It's been a long week. I've cooked some lasagna for people that are less fortunate, a bit more vulnerable, and delivered those. I also have a couple of grocery bags left. Let's just get that out, actually, while that chicken's probably burning. Um, so I've got these boxes together, and they've got bits in, like soap, tea bags, squash, um, a bit of bar of chocolate, some custard cream, bits and pieces. I've made a few of these up and I'm delivering them in a GL postcode. If you know anyone that could do with any of that, let me know and I'll pop it round. Right, that's browning nicely. Like I said, we want it on like a medium heat, not turbo, not, about, uh, not turbo, because the, the marinade, the turmeric, the peppercorns, and everything will burn and it'll get a horrible, bitter, charred taste to it. Parker, hey bud, how you doing? Jake Nicholl, Carol White, hello, hello. What's the ultimate time for cooking breasts? About 20 minutes. Um, chicken breasts are a fickle pickle. Depends on what you're doing with them. Perfect for me, personally, when I'm doing breasts and I want to lose a bit of weight, I prefer thigh because there's more fat and flavour. I'll slow down. Sorry, coffee's kicked in. Um, butterfly the chicken breast. Butterfly it, marinate it. Cajun, paprika, garlic, whatever you like, in a pan to get the colour. And then about seven minutes in the oven, 180 degrees. Paxo, hello mate, and Sid. Mate, look at all these old, fr hello here, Carol. Hey, Harry, I had a shave before this, trying to look presentable. And I put on my shirt, instead of a t-shirt. Right, you're distracting me from my chicken. Let's have a look. Oh, my days, right. It's all flavour, isn't it? Look at that, right, okay, so. I don't know if you can see that very well. You've got that lovely colour. I mean, everyone could pan fried chicken. Obviously, the butter helps. The coconut butter or the oil that I should have used would help to give it that lovely golden colour. We're going to cook that out a little bit more, I'm going to, and then I'm going to chuck in the veggie bits. Adam, hello, darling. I hope you're well down there in Bristol. Got any bits on how to debone chicken thighs without losing a finger? Yes, I do. I've done that in the JSA before every chicken thigh. I'm a massive fan of chicken thighs. Two reasons: they're on the bone, so they've got more flavour. They're cheaper. <laughs> we're all going to be cooking to a budget come the end of April. Um, let me just see some ras. So, basically, turn that down. Chicken thighs. I should have done one. In fact, if you stick around, I'll show you one because I've got a plain chicken thigh in the kitchen for my son because I don't think he'd get on well with the, the heat from the peppercorn. I am sweating, so I'm going to open my window and open my back door. Two seconds, talk about yourselves into some questions. Lovely, lovely. Warm. Might even turn up the extractor. How's that? Right back. Sorry. Do excuse me. Oh, it's warm. How are you all looking? Come on, come out with your questions. Hey Parker, I hope that build tom's good. I'm going to have to make my own in the garage or find a supplier that doesn't charge 35 quid a kilo. Um, if anyone, anyone knows of someone like that. I'd be very interested to talk to them. If you haven't hit like, hit like already. If you haven't hit love or thumbs down, I don't mind what it is, just hit that little button. Come out with some questions, come out with some comments. That'd be wonderful. And um, let me know how you're getting on with the lockdown, where you're struggling in the kitchen, 
primarily, or if you're not getting enough exercise, whatever it is in your life that you're missing, throw it up and we'll have a chat about it, okay? Okay. Chicken is sealed and colourful. I'm spun in these onions. I'm gonna make this a one pound wonder for the masses. I'll wash my hands, don't worry, Mum. She better be watching. Mum, you better be watching. Okay, by introducing these at a later stage, obviously the heat will go to the onions and away from the chicken, so they shouldn't burn. And if it does look like they are going to, the chicken's gonna, sorry, just wash my hands again, but hope if it does look like the chicken's gonna burn or catch, just whip them out and pop them on a tray to the side, which I might end up doing still. See how the turning goes. That's the rice done, I reckon. Decent meatball recipe. I go with lamb, a lot of fat, but you get a lot of flavour. Minted lamb meatballs, absolutely amazing. Um, you can also do it with corn mints, but you need a lot of tomato puree to so hold it together. So there's one for the veggies. Um, if you skip back to the beginning of the video, this is ginger, raw ginger stem. Uh, well, the stem. That's going in with the onions. And then I'm going to show you one of my favourite little chip, uh, kitchen tools. It's this great in plate. Now it's made by a company called Regas. I'm nothing to do with them, I just love that this bit of kit. Um, it's got little etching bits in there. So you take your garlic, clove, and the plate, and you just rub it. And what you're left with, I should get commission for this, what you're left with is all the skin in your hand and all the puree in there. Now if you use a garlic press, you're in a stone age because half of the skin gets caught and you don't get any of your puree. Um, so, but I just wanted to show that off, but we're just gonna bash the rest of the garlic, just crush it, maybe give it a little once over with the knife and then add that to the pan, okay? I love garlic. If, you, if you're part of the JSA and you've seen the video before, you'll know that my favorite meal involved garlic and butter. Probably one such a tongue butter, but that's going in as well, okay. I'm going to have to give this a stir. So I'm going to hoik the chicken out. That is a culinary technical term, hoik. Whip the chicken out, sorry. Onto this tray and let the onions and garlic and ginger cook off a little bit. Turn our heat down. And you just want to saute them for about 15, 20 minutes, which means you guys are in for a long ride. Um, if you want to speed it up, put this chicken into... So look, can you see that? I don't know, it's all on the side. Just gonna let that sit there for a little while. So I've got enough room to cook the onions. It's all that lovely, lovely marinade. And then turning orange as we speak. Right, so that's gonna cook for a while and take up. So if you wanna stick by that, would be brilliant. There is life after RMS. Gene Smith in the his house. There's a blast in the park. There is life. I, I, RMS, I will come back actually, I think, and maybe say hello with my boy. He's three and a half now, so I know you girls would love to see him and cluck all over him, it'd be lovely. Biltong, mate, I will do Giles. I, mate, I'm all about the Biltong, it's my favorite thing in the bloody world. Nifty bit of kit, Sheffy. It is a nifty bit of kit. <laughs> hello, Ash, I hope you're well, mate. I really do. Um, yeah, it was fun working with you back in the day. Sorry it all went tits. Uh, love what we're doing, thank you. You're very welcome, Adri. Give me some ideas for food next time. I'll be able to go into town to get food. Yeah, as long as you're not on lockdown and you're breaking curfew or rules or anything, um, I will do. Keep it on Cooking with Coops um, if you want inspiration. If you want to get in touch, please do. If you want to explore the website, please do. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a garden for me and the boys are playing. I've got a garage that needs a lot of attention. You'll probably see if you're friends with me on Facebook, I'm selling pretty much everything just to pay the rent. Um, so, yeah, get in touch. So, yeah, we're just going to... Oh, I know you haven't got smelly vision, I know that must bug you guys out, but hey, it's not the end of the world. Cheeky little naan breads, pitters, microwave, 20 seconds, boom, done. We'll do them later on. Right, let's have a chat. What are, what, uh, what are your cupboard essentials? Every time I find nice food, there's always something I don't have. Tin tomatoes, because I'm not being funny, I went to the supermarket after working race week in Cheltenham and having another job to do until we got locked down, and I know I, went, I didn't realise all the the hoo-ha about supermarkets. Then I went to my local Morrison's around the corner. Oh my days. It was pasta, chopped tomatoes, mince. Like the whole country's making spaghetti bolognese. It's the only dish they know how to make. Poor show. 
but I'm guessing it's some people's kitchen uh, cupboard essentials. Excuse me, it's a bit warm. Um, what else? Yeah, pasta. I guess everyone goes for that. I like chicken. You can freeze a lot of stuff down for later. I'm, I'm fat. Ah. People are going to shout at me for this. I'm a huge fan of pizzas. Just frozen pizza, bang it in, no fuss. Um, I like white, I prefer white meat. I like frozen fish freezes quite well. So be careful. go into Morrison's or your Asda or wherever you're at. Get on that fish. And um, yeah, right, now that's started to soften a little bit. I'm going to reintroduce the, fit, uh, the chicken. I've got fish on the brain here. Chicken. And whack up the heat a little bit. Stand by. So yeah, frozen fish is good. Frozen chicken I try as an experiment. I advise that you don't. It's minging. Absolutely minging. Um, it's got a horrible texture. It's got a lot of water in it. So if you buy it by, by kilo or by gram, you're getting ripped off. A lot of, a lot with bacon. Ash, one of my coops for his oven. This? Why? Because it works. Um, Good luck, mate. You have to get past my toddler and my wife. And Corey, let's be honest, you've got a soft spot for my wife. Um, right. Where's Jan? Where's Jan? Jan's watching. Oh, is that why you say nice one, Jan? You're not jealous of the other. It was actually, it's actually part of the reason I moved here. Pippa wanted a garden for the kids to run around in, us to enjoy, and a driveway for the indoors to visit. Um, and I wanted a decent kitchen and that came with it, so we kept it. Any good recipes for household weight overstock with lentils? Oh yeah, so if someone else was like this, I'm gonna do another one. Now the first thing I'll go to is like a curry, but I'm doing one of those without it now. I'll probably bang red lentils in there. Uh, soup, I don't care how boring you think it is, it doesn't have to be. Everyone in here should be able to make soup. It's veggies and water and seasoning and heat. Make soup. Red lentil and roasted red pepper soup is beautiful. Um, so you cook off the lentils with a bit of butter, raw, then add your stock, veg stock, then while you're doing that, roast off some red peppers, and then add it all together, blitz it, season it, enjoy it with a loaf of bread, a bun, whatever you're gonna have your soup with, mate. Okay, what about herbs and bits and bobs? I didn't have the peppercorns. Oh, right, so, I use grinders a lot, salt and pepper grinders, so it's got rock salt and, um, Sorry, two sets. It's got rock salt and, uh, and peppercorns are always in. Just being prepared, I guess. Um, garlic's on my go-to this, as I've mentioned before. Onions, potatoes, um, garam masala if you like curry, uh, Italian herbs, fresh herbs. I've got, if I can show off, I've got coriander, um, basil, rosemary. Oh my God, if you want rosemary and you live in a GL postcode, please come and help yourself. Please come and help yourself. Uh, but hang on, what else we got? Yeah, so fresh herbs, grow some. I would. Uh, yeah, what else we got? I don't want any thyme died, and the mint died as well. Yeah, uh, lentil soup, mate. Let's uh, have a go. Basics at the moment, chili con carne, tuna, bacon, rice. Yeah, well, that's nothing wrong with that. Right, let's go down. Coconut milk. Look, break the seal, as they say. And you know what? I'm going to if you've got coconut milk like this, oh, also you can put it in rice. Just drop your knife through the middle of it and let it break it into parts. Because when you, I guarantee you when I dump this in that pan, it's going to go everywhere. Two seconds. Yeah, there we go. Whoa there, Nelly. Let's turn you down. Okay, two seconds guys, talk amongst yourselves, think of some questions. Uh, you've got uh, like chili con carne, right, so if you're making mints, hang on, let me just get this done. So here's a tip, if you've got leftovers in your, in your uh, tin, just get some boiling water, swill it around and you'll get the rest of it, yeah? I know so everyone knows how to do that, but then you've got a nice clean tin for the recycling bin. Um, also, you can add chicken stock at this stage if you want to. But I think we'll get plenty of flavour out of that marinated chicken. Right, stir that in nice and gently so it doesn't go anywhere, everywhere, sorry. Um, if you want to, you can use a wok for this. The deeper, the deeper the pan, the better. But you also need that surface area, so a saucepan's not gonna work for you, is it? Okay, let's get that in there. I'm just gonna mix it all up. Bear with. 
Well done, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. If you bug it off, that's fine. I appreciate the interaction. And let that bubble away. Um, the reason I've decided to take the plunge to do the live is because the hospitality and events industry is on its arms. And I feel for all my Fredo chefs and, and hospitality staff, um, if you've got any, if you need someone delivering food, I am delivering, but if you could just donate a little bit of money to Hospitality Action, that'd be amazing. Right, who we got? But uh, I said, chili con carne. So with the chili con carne, what I would do, if you've got just mints everywhere, oh, um, I would, Make a lasagna or a bolognese, yeah? Then that's the mince tomato base. Then you can add chili to it and beans to make it chili con carne. And when you have, if you've still got stuff after that, uh, take that chili con carne and all the bits of it, mix it with the rice, make it into a ball and stuff it in a burrito. Watching on the reheats though, okay? I'm not having that on my, I'm not having that on my conscience. I have a lot of frozen white fish, perfect. Right, okay, Giles, um, with frozen fish, the best thing and the safest thing to do is to defrost it properly. And then when it is defrosted, pat it dry and pat it dry again. It will hold a lot of water, okay? So you don't want that coming out and ruining a dish. So yeah, I love frozen fish. I think you should use more of it sometimes. I didn't see you wash your hands. I've washed my hands. That's how ages. It's right here. I've been doing it all the way through. I'll do it again for you, Nathan. Blimey, I'd rather be. <laughs> uh, right, Adam. Yeah, I love you too, man. Always buy canned coconut milk too. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Corey. A positive and very nice addition. Better off shaking the tin first with coconut milk. Yeah, Doug, you absolutely can. Um, got caught my pants down, basically. I was getting ready for this. Shake the can, do it for beans, do it for everything. Aga, hello. Hello to you all. Um, yeah, guys, this is good. Uh, if you haven't hit like, hit like already. If you haven't hit love, share. Do all that good internet stuff because I can't cook while we're under lockdown, so I'm out of money. So I need all your attention and your money and your donations to hospitality, the whole work, just get on it. Okay, let's go back to our rice. I turned this down earlier. Let's see how we're looking. Okay, where's the guy about washing my hands? There you go, clean hand. Tasting the rice, just al dente, needs a little bit longer. So, the heat is off, the lid is on. That will steam, I'll give it a little blast and that's that. I don't know if you can see the pan, but it's bubbling away nicely. I'll turn it down a bit actually. Let's bring it over just so that you can see over there. So that's what it should look like. I don't know if you can see that too well without it spilling. That's everything in one pan. And we're just gonna let that simmer and reduce. Let the chicken cook, it's got that color. You can do this with um, just diced chicken. Buy some chicken breasts, just don't put the chicken in first. Put it in after the onions and the garlic and the ginger, um, put it in before the coconut milk. And that's gonna simmer there for about five or 10 more minutes. And you're a terrible man for technology. I'm horrible at it, but I don't, don't mind that. Um, I'm not a tech, tech person, but I do like making people smile through food. So shut your pile. Um, right, coriander, just roughly chop that. Another addition of flavor just to lift the dish. You can put it through at the last minute while it's still cooking, or you can bang it on top at the end to make it look all chefy and zhuzhy. Um, let's get a bowl. La, 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 la. Ah. And let's have a chat for five, 10 minutes while that chicken cooks through. Turn it down another notch. Arm breads in the microwave, make sure you pierce the bag. 30 seconds, thanks for that done. Can I suggest a quick marinade for prawn stir fry? Can you? Yes, Charlotte. Um, Charlotte, a lot of skiers, I know you. Prawns, if you put anything too uh, ferocious near them, like a lemon, the acid will cook them real quick. So marinade and prawns are quite tough. You can't leave them for too long, otherwise they will start to cure or cook. Um, Go-to would be you know, lemon juice, chili, garlic, coriander. Roll it in a bowl, leave it for about five, 10 minutes, no more, because you've got that lemon juice cooking, the acid, the citric acid cooking those prawns because they're equal. Uh, um, so you don't want it to leave it in too long. Half an hour max. Uh, what fish would work best with this? Um, something solid. Uh, if you've got the budget, cod. Um, actually, anything you like, not smoked salmon. Um, you could cook this uh, like I've done the, the chicken, cook the fish separately, and then just flake it in or just 
or if you want it like big chunks like this, like it looks like a paella. Uh, cod's pretty hefty, monkfish will hold up quite well, um, halibut, quite pricey ones and they're expensive for a reason because they hold themselves together. Cheap stuff will just disintegrate and you'll lose it. Right, how are we going? I'm looking to start a herb garden. What would you recommend to start out with? Something simple and robust like I, like I mentioned earlier out the front, rosemary. For me, it is taking over my front garden. Uh, rosemary is pretty uh, uh, robust, the past is quite robust. Um, I don't fare too well with thyme, um, but that's just probably more me than it is anyone else. But yeah, something earthy. Basil, but that needs to be indoors, like if you've got a greenhouse or whatever. Um, yeah, just trial and error, but I'd start with rosemary, parsley, mint. You see it growing everywhere, so it's got, and no one touches to it. It's like the roadside sometimes, I'd say. Cheers, uh, Lotsky. You are very welcome. Cool in. Hello, Spud. How are we all? Now, other questions. Um, what you can do for me, um, you can look through my videos and you can share the ones you like. You can comment underneath them. You can um, ask me questions or sign up to get taught online. All that stuff's there. There's a link at the top of the page that says learn more. That'll take you to my website, which is under a little bit of a battering at the moment. I've got a new, some new clients in America and I'm teaching them via FaceTime. Bonkers, right? But very exciting. Um, so I need to give it a little bit of TLC. It probably still has courses left over from the new year. But have a look anyway, uh, and get it out to all your friends, relatives. I can do this all from here at the moment, and when the lockdown stops, I'll be on the road talking to clients and having lots of fun. So for me, all I need you to do is click a few buttons, show some love, and get me through quite a torrid time, and let me support other hospitality people by donating to Hospitality Action. There we are, sales pitch over. Back to, back to helping you guys. Read a herb garden. How much space do they need? I've got patio, but Pinterest ideas for breeze blocks. Oh, well, do they um, I would say, you oh, have some tricky ones, Joe, don't you? I'd say a pot the same size as a pan or a pizza, and they're not gonna get any bigger than that. So if you work on that kind of diameter for roots, for herbs, Again, it depends how many you're bloody planting, love. If you're planting 20 seeds, or you're trying to grow garlic, they're going to need a bit more space. If it's just one bush of like rosemary or parsley, then yeah, about a pizza pan, plate, pizza size. Hope that helps. Hey, Spud. Matthew, hope you're well, mate. Um, I'm guessing you're closed down for this, or are you still shelling out the good fish and chips, the best fish and chips in Cheltenham, I might add. Um, I hope you're well, pal. Gemma. Thank you, thank you for tuning in, thank you for being supportive, thanks for sorting me out uh, all the time. You're a lovely human being, as are most of the people in the JSA, so thank you to them. Oh, oh. You know what, this is gonna be my lunch for me and the missus, but I forgot all my kids' chicken, so stand by. Let's get another pan on, shall we? Poor little Jack, what a dick father I've been. However, it does give me the opportunity to show you how to take the bone out of the thigh. So we'll clear this out of the way. Excuse me. We'll get another board in, because it's raw chicken. Safety first, don't we kill anyone? Can you imagine how long I've had this board? It's not even flat anymore. So that's around the whole Right. So I'm just gonna pan fry this for Jack. Washing my hands, don't worry Nathan, washing my hands, washing my hands. Okay, so this is what you'll buy in the shop. Out of a packet, £1.70 from Morrison's, cheap as chips. Well, I better not fuck this up. Um, you'll see the bone, just basically trim down the sides, keep turning it around like that, and then pull it off. Hey, oh, he said pull it off, sexually the window bingo. If you want those little bits, again, just use the sharp side of the knife, downward motion, and you can trip it off. And then you're free to dice it, remove the skin. Now I'll show you on this one how to remove the skin. You get your thumb, thumb under it. You see that? Pull it off. He said pull it off again. What? <laughs> anyway, and then we take the bone out. Just find the top of the bone. Take the flesh away at the top. And then use your hands. Don't be scared. If you are scared, you don't like meat, it should be the chicken, should you? But um, yeah, just rip it off. Should have done that a little bit more. And then... A little bit's left over, just slide your knife down the bone. And you're laughing. See if we can take the skin off this one as well. Give Jack some. That's going in the meat bit, uh, the pig bin. 
and I'm washing my hands, I promise you. I tell you what, out of all the people, after surgeons and healthcare workers who are going at it, and much respect for anyone who works for the NHS, and oh, just, I, we're not worthy. You guys can rock. Um, us chefs, we wash our hands because we have to. Yeah? Right, rice is done. Chicken's got me there. I'm just going to do Jack's chicken because it's lunchtime. Don't worry, I'm going to wash all this. Now, right, how's everyone doing? Good. And uh, if you're worried, I am going to spray all this down as well. Don't worry. Emily Till, hello. Stephanie Ambar, I love you for saying that. Thank you very much indeed. Hi, Matthew. Don't forget the brisket juice. Juice, juice, it's got to have juice. Um, that's a private joke. <laughs> right, uh, finally, not finally, that's bollocks. Well, if you've got five or six quid about, get a pro. If you're ever, like for barbecues in the summer especially, because apparently a lot of people, I'm not saying any of you guys, because you guys are great, but a lot of people uh, are giving themselves food poisoning with undercooked sausages on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Get a pro if you're unsure. Jesus. Right, let's probe this chicken. Obviously, meat on the bone takes a little bit longer, but we're there. Just gonna turn that one more time. One more time. Do, 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 do. Two minutes and then we're gonna give it up, yeah? Meanwhile, Jack's lunch, unseasoned. He's happy, bit of rice. Let's get on that. Yeah. And hello, darling. It means better Facebook engagement. What does? Oh. Yeah, lots of likes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Charles. Yes, hit all the likes. Um, right, um, a friend of mine's going live in the JSA, actually, so I said I'd not interrupt with that. If you give me two more minutes of your time, potentially three or four, then I will show you what this is meant to look at, look like. We're going to save this little bit for garnish. Actually, my wife's got it. And my child, so. I'm going to shut the back door because it's chilly now. Complain it's too hot. Windows closed, cupboards closed. Bear with me, two seconds. Right. Jack's, Jack's chicken's cooking in the background. I hope you can still hear me. Hello, Ange. Afternoon. Likes and shares, mate. Thank you so much. GMAC, good to see you, man. I know you're all tuning in for Pippa at quarter past 12, but thank you so much for coming to Cooking with Coops and joining me. I'm just serving up dinner, lunch, my family, washing my hands, washing my equipment. Who's going wash your hands? Right, I think we're there. Yeah, we're definitely there. So, with a minute to go, kill the heat on the big chicken, add your coriander. Let it sit on top for a while, don't go stirring it in because it will hit the really hot bits and turn brown, okay? So the heat's off. This is just for garnish and a bit of zhuzh. That's the main deal, isn't it? Can you see that all right? I know it's taken an hour to get, 40 minutes to get to this point, but I have to keep talking to you guys. And now I've got to cook over my son's chicken. Cheeky beer, always key, mate. Let's get up the docks in Gloucester. Go tank and uh, yeah, get on the get on the beers. I can't wait to be able to get back in the kitchen and cook some yummy meals again. Yeah, nice. Resisted urge for a back door quick. You come in with it. Come in with all of it. I love it. Look, guys, hit like, hit share, hit love, hit. I didn't like it. Hit angry, hit funny. I don't care. That interaction is going to get my rent paid at the end of April. <laughs> um, in all honesty. So yeah, that you'll be helping me out and then that will help me help people that are suffering in the hospitality industry. Um, and I, I would appreciate it. Right, enough chat, let's dish up. Jack's first, so it can cool down. So we've got rice with salt and pepper in it. Here's Jack's. I won't put coriander on this. There's the whites. And here's mine, all the rest of it. I'm joking, I'm going to leave it 
cool. Jack's not going to have this one. Oh, let's stir this coriander in a little bit. So it, will cook, it will cook really quickly, you don't have to stir it in until the last minute. Let's go. One, two thighs. Another two thighs. And then all that onion, garlic, ginger, goodness, coconut milk on top. We've got another portion there. A bit of zhuzh. And that, I know it took a little longer, it should only take about 25 minutes, 40 minutes, is marinated chicken, garlic and pepper with rice, curry, onions, garlic, ginger. Very simple, hopefully you've got all that stuff in your cupboard. And uh, if you haven't, Get it for the next one. Here, look. Here's a tip, here's a tip for you. I'm pan frying some plain chicken for my darling, darling son. And if you want to keep it in the pan, keep it with colour and all the rest of it, put on a cloche. Now, Corey, if you're still on there, I know you know what a cloche is. It'll steam the chicken a little bit, it'll cook it quicker, and the chicken won't dry out. We used it um, in the restaurant for burgers to stop the burgers from drying out, but being able to melt the cheese on top of them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I certainly have. I love doing this. Um, I didn't realise, I think I would, but um, I absolutely do. As long as it helps other people get their confidence and skill set up. I forgot the naan bread, didn't I? That look better? Good. So, unless there's any questions, I'm going to go and have some lunch with my family. How are we looking? God, it's hot again there. Shut the back door and uh, got a bit of a bead on. Looks lush. Looks delicious. Thank you. Carol, you're more than welcome. Yeah, I will do more of these. I'll do in the JSA where it all started because I owe those members that. And in Cooking with Coops, I'm going to do as many as possible. Um, please. I'm on Insta and t Twitter trying to get out the message that I will cook for people who in a GL postcode that have, can't get to the shops or are high risk or they're self-contained and they haven't got any food. I will do that for them. I need you to donate, share it across all the social, so, social platforms and if you can, donate and get behind it. I know a couple of the guys at Gloucester Rugby. Uh, Henry Trinder, thank you so much for sharing. Lance Bradley, thank you so much for retweeting. Um, go and find the little symbol that looks a little bit like copyright or uh, comedy channel. I don't care. It's mine. Share it. Get it out there. Make me famous. But let's help some people as well. I know this is easy for me, but it's taken me 25 years. And I'm still shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, and for other people, cooking, especially in this situation, is an absolute ball ache. Um, so I need to get worldwide. All right? Dream visions of grandeur. Dreaming big but I'm here to help uh, and pay my rent. And that's as simple as it gets. So yeah, please share along. Um, look through the videos. I can't repeat myself enough. I'm just waiting for my son's chicken to uh, cook so I can go and feed him. Two sets. I hope this is uh, informative and fun. Yeah, informative and fun. Put that in your hashtag and smoke it. Pritch, good to see you, mate. You're a little bit late, I'm wrapping up. It was 45 minutes. I can't believe people have actually stood, stood the course. For that, I'm eternally grateful. Um, if you haven't hit like it, like already. If you haven't shared it, please share it. If it's not your cup of tea, let me know. I'll change the format a little bit. Yeah, happy days. Right, let me probe my son's chicken. Don't make that weird, guys. Yeah, he's good to go. A bit of number, a bit of rice. Right, so there it is once more. Follow the videos, they're all in there. I'll upload this live to the group. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you ever so much for joining in. Like, hit, oh man, why are all these people coming in so late? Tally, Sarah, hit like, share it, watch it back, cook it tonight, have fun. Stay safe, stay well, love you lots, bye.